Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So nowadays, uh, many students are asking, like, why there is a delay in TCS result and uh, how much it usually takes. Uh, and so I came up with this video. So before proceeding, uh, and let me ask you, did you join my Telegram group? If you haven't, please guys, DM me or uh, DM me on Instagram or you can mail me. I'll provide you the link of my Telegram group over there. In that Telegram group, you'll find previous year question paper and all this stuff, companies, material each and everything. So that will be helpful for you in clearing any, uh, you know, companies uh, hiring. You can clear any placement interview. Now, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. On this channel, you'll find so many informative videos related to company recruitment process, how you can prepare for an inter interview, how you can crack any interview, and uh, what is important in interview, what companies need, and their previous year question paper, and everything, each and every stuff related to recruitment process or placement. So please, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Now, now let's get started. Why there's a late in or delay in TCS result? So I have noted this point, give priority to colleges. Now TCS give priority to some colleges. What, is, what does it mean? So guys, suppose the TCS is conducting, uh, suppose on 16th or 17th of any month, TCS is conducting is exam. So it will conduct exam at the same time in so many colleges, more than 10, right? So now, while calculating the result, it will give priority to the prime colleges. Prime colleges, then the non-prime colleges will come. And how much usually it take uh, to, you know, to out the result? It usually take one to two weeks. Now, one to two weeks for prime colleges. Now, if your colleges doesn't come under the prime colleges of TCS, then you will definitely, it will take time more than one to two weeks. Suppose in first week or second week, prime colleges are getting result. Many students are getting the result. After their result, your maybe your result will be in process. You'll get result after their result. So if you comes under, if your college comes under non-prime. So uh, you should, I guess you should patiently wait for one or two weeks. Now there is a key point here. It's not only for online test. It's not only for that. Even if it is a technical interview, it's an online interview, it's an HR interview. Guys, the usual time of any company like the huge, the mass recruiter company is one to two week. So it's a, it's a usual time. So if you have given, if you have taken your, uh, suppose your technical interview today, then you should wait for one to two weeks. After that, you will get your result starting from the prime colleges. If your colleges comes under prime, they will first provide your result and then uh, the non-prime colleges. So now the thing is, the TCS, the TCS will definitely mail you if you haven't got any mail, email from TCS. Why? Whether you are selected or rejected, TCS will definitely mail you. Okay, if you haven't received any mail, either you will be getting mail for, for your selection or reject, rejection. There is no point of keep on waiting. Just you can prepare for other interviews, right? There are many off-campus hiring is going on and or different hiring. So, uh, so you can prepare for that instead of waiting for the result because this is usual time. One to two weeks is usual time for any mass recruitment. So that is the answer for this question, like why there is a delay in TCS result. So hope you guys uh, find this video informative. If you find this video informative, please press thumbs up. And thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, I would highly recommend you to please subscribe to my channel. Because on this channel, you will find so many informative videos. Uh, and for upcoming videos, uh, you can press the bell icon so that you easily get the notification of my any video. Now, thank you for watching.